Hey guys, it's me and I does what I think about time today. We're gonna be making music plaques without um a cricket. So these are two that I've made already. This is my brother and I when we were younger. If you haven't listened to the song, it's actually a really good song. Not gonna lie, I got off TikTok. And then one this is from like three years ago with my family for Christmas. We did like our own little at home photo shoot. Um I put them back into the frames just so like they um don't have to worry about the glass breaking and i personally think it looks really good having that black background so for all your supplies you need of course picture frames i got these from walmart they were a dollar some change so once i scan them they come up to about two dollars which is really good you can also get them from dollar tree but the only reason i didn't get mine from dollar tree is because they have thicker frames and i really like this one because you see how thin the frame is so you have all this space when you put the glass back in there you see like the whole picture um we're gonna be making two of them today so i have these two all from walmart everything i have is from walmart mosh podge i tried to they tried to find a small one they didn't have one so this is a good size though it's gonna last me for a while it was four dollars and some change so it came up to about five bucks get you some brushes um i just grabbed these ones they were night. 97 or no they were 87 cents so that's why i grabbed them because the other ones are really expensive um they work good i felt like a little of the black was kind of coming off when i was putting the mosh podge on to the pictures but other than that i feel like these work really good you're gonna need um what is it this little like sharpie paint it's like paint but it comes out of a sharpie i think this was like two bucks probably or dollars and change i can't remember but literally everything you need for this is so inexpensive which is what i love the most and of course you're going to need a printer or if you don't have a printer images that you printed out somewhere else i have a printer i have a canning canon printer so i'm going to put those off for mine i use the photo paper just because the photo paper is thicker than just regular printer paper which i feel works really good for putting the images on the glass and yeah so now i'm going to show you how i do my layouts for the images and then i'm going to print it out okay so these are the two i'm going to be making for people but in case you don't know how to make these layouts i'm going to show you so i'm going to go into pix art if you see my last video you know i use pix art for everything i'm currently in the middle of a project so we're just gonna cancel because i haven't even gotten that far um i get a white background i go to tools crop and i just do the three by four and then you're gonna slide over click on add photo you're then gonna pick the image that you need and pull it up as you see this is a longer one so i'm gonna need to crop it so that it can be more of a square like how the photo albums are supposed to be and I'm gonna size it, put it in the middle. Boom. And then once I'm done, just click off it. Don't press apply yet. With Pixar, you never wanna press apply until you've done everything you need to do. Because once you press apply, you can't edit or undo anything. So just click down into space somewhere, but do not press apply. Next, we're gonna click on stickers. Um, um, mine's are my recent, but all you have to simply do is type in Spotify. And a lot of options are gonna come up. You can put it inside this one, as you see, you can just place it inside a frame already. And yeah, so there's a lot of options that will pop up. This is the one I like the most. It looks the best, but it is white. So when you put it on the white background, you can't see it. So I go to stickers and you just type in black, like a black, just type in like black box. And you can just like pick one of these. Actually, I'm going to use this one. This one looks great. And then we're just going to make it... Never mind. I'm going to use the one that is in my recents already. That one's kind of thin. So I just use this big one. And then I size it down. Spread it out how I need to. And then we're going to place this in there. Oh, yeah. One thing. When you're trying to put stuff on top, you click it. Press these little layers up here. 
and press move up. So now it's gonna lay on top of the black. As you can see, this isn't big enough, so I'm just gonna make it bigger. I make it the size of the image, which is why I'm laying it on here to see where the line goes. And then I make this a tad bit bigger, lay the white on top of there. Boom, hold on, bring it all the way to the bottom. Okay, and the song that she wanted for hers was a Rod Wave song. I think it was Letter from Houston. Yeah, because I have hers made already. Yeah, Letter from Houston. So you just hit the text, put in letter. Was it letters or letter? Letter from Houston. Yeah, that was capital. Change the font to black. Oops. Fix the text. Rearrange it how you need to. And then go to text again. Type in the artist's name, which is Rod Wave. And then change the go to color, change to black. In front, I change it. I usually do this one, Boone, I think that's how you pronounce it. But for certain letters, like you see how the W is, that's going to be harder to trace. So if I can't do that for certain letters, I go over here to this one. And you see it's regular. So those are the two I use. Line it up. Once you get everything how you want it, then you press apply. And you download it. And now you have your layout that you need. So. Okay, so I have. <clears throat> excuse me. I have my two images printed print it out. I am currently very low on black ink as you can see, but it is still good enough where I'll be able to trace those. So now the next step is get you a pair of scissors and you're just going to cut the bottom part off oh, from the music part. I got these scissors from Dollar Tree. And then you're just going to sit this part to the side because you do not and then you're going to cut any excess paper around it so it's just the picture and then I'm going to do those with both and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, so now I have these images cut off. By the way, um, just in case you're wondering like, oh, I don't have gloves on and stuff like that. This is, um, and they're not like cut super perfect. I'm still learning. These are both my family members and I just... If you have me on Snapchat, you've seen I put on my story. I posted mine and I put, I need two people who I can do so that I can practice. Because I personally didn't want to make a whole bunch of, for me, because I don't know what I would do with them. Like, two is enough. So, that is why I am currently how I am now. Um, I do need to get better scissors. As you can see, it's a little rigid up here. Um, so I definitely would not recommend getting scissors from Dollar Tree. They work good sometimes, but like, they're ugh, all over the place. So now I'm just going to open these. One thing I really like about these two, they're not very hard to take off. You just pull, um, the one from Walmart, you just pull them up, like, ugh, pull them up a little bit and then push in the back. So like lift and, lift and push and the, it literally just pops right out the frame so it's really really easy so i'm gonna take i the black piece this is what comes behind it i just lay this down on top of it just so i have a base for it if you need to you can always wipe the glass off but it's super clean right now because i just got off once you put the mod podge and stuff on there you are gonna need to so i'm gonna just i just i'm gonna start with this one first because i was supposed to do hers like two days ago so I'm gonna just open my Mod Podge. Well, first I'm gonna put the glass up here. And the front and back is black, so it doesn't matter which side you use. And I'm gonna just lay it on here. Get my Mod Podge, get my brush. And when I say use a generous amount, use a generous amount because you don't want your picture to start like lifting up at the corners and stuff. Now, we're going to lift our image up. So this is how it looks all nice and coated. This is why I said you can use either side because, like, it doesn't matter. But I like to lay the, the glass on something. And now, when you place it, be very careful because, you know, 
you don't want to be moving it a lot and i'm just gonna line it up i line it up first before i actually lay it onto there so i'm gonna line it up to where i want it to be and then press it down on the sides i start at the sides first then press down the middle and make my way up And there is glass at the, I mean, not glass, um, a little glue that came off at the bottom. So I'm just going to take some tissue and just wipe it. And like I said, when you're done, you're definitely going to have to wipe your mirror. Because glue, it's going to get somewhere. Okay, now we have this, the image, on there. Okay, now I'm going to glue the other one on as well, so then I don't have to come back and do it, do it later. Alright, so now that I have both of my pictures mod podged on, I'm going to start with the first one, let the other one dry. I'm going to take out, or out my heart with the music and stuff on there and with the black background under it we're just gonna slide it right up under the mirror but above the black so you can see it so like this and you just position it until you find and you just here we go this is better you just position it until you like where the letters will be at under your picture and you can just move it around until you get the perfect spot you want to make sure you do this on a steady place where like nothing will be moving because one mistake and it's like all done next you want to get this this is already used but when you first get it you have to shake it a lot and push down the button um, I found the way to make it look the best is to do strokes the same way instead of like coloring a whole lettering because the letters are thick. So like for the L, when I go down, instead of going down and over, like doing the outline and coloring it inside, I found if you go the same strokes that you're doing, it looks better. So now you trace. Okay, so I'm back. So this is this one. And then this one. There are a few marks on this one. Be sure not to push down too hard on the marker or like so much paint will come out. So it was like really wet. One thing that I found works good also, which I'm gonna do on this last part, is by taking a little bit of Mod Podge, not as much as you put on the back, and doing a thin coat on top of the picture, which is, a, it really like, I don't know, like holds it. And I feel like you don't have to worry about it coming off. So that is what I'm going to do right here. As you can see there, wet, my images are drying. It takes a minute for them to dry. But as they are drying, you're gonna get a little on the edge. So I'm just gonna clean it off. Once they are completely dry, I will be back to show you the finished product.